Hello everyone and welcome to episode 7 of my Monster X series and today is all about the Connect Deja Vu. Now before I even get into the album I would like to say sorry in advance because I am going to find girl on my biases. This is their album so just <laughs> warning a lot of fun girling and just losing my mind now this was so good i was saying in the last episode how i was wondering what they were going to go for with this one and it's kind of like the code which which is kind of mixed but i love the energy i personally feel like this album was made for i am and Johanny, like they are the ultimate duo, they shine so much throughout this album. The songs on there have some of my favorite verses from the both of them. And if I was already obsessed with them to begin with, this one just make every just made everything worse because they did so well. But at the same time, I can recognize that the other members also did an amazing job. But I will talk more about them where I speak about my specific favorites. So what do I love so much about this album? Number one, the energy. And that's something I will always think talk about when it comes to Monster X. Because they have mastered the art of giving you the right amount of energy each and every album. You will never find a boring Monster X album. Never. I refuse to believe that even the ones that I have not listened to yet, it's never going to be boring. And that's just because of the energy they bring. The second thing I really love about this album is the way the vocal line matches the vibe of the rap line because I am and Johnny are such charismatic figures that sometimes once they rap like all the shine is on them they just take over but because the vocal line is so talented oh my god <laughs> it gave for it, it gave room Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> it gave birth to some amazing moments where you have like a great vocal moment one minute backed up with like a very great rap verse. Um, as usual, those two and their ad libs, gold. It's so good. The thing I love about this album, the songs, the song choices. Monster X for me are one of those artists that know themselves, they know what works for them, they know the areas where they can really do their thing, but at the same time, they never become predictable, where you know that, you know, the song is going to sound like this, or they're going to go for no. What they do is so clever. It's either it's going to, they go into a song with a vibe that you already heard before from them, but they will switch they will switch things around with the way the chorus sound or how the melody of the verses go, and I like it. And that's what they do in this album. They specifically chose songs that were going to just showcase their growth between albums, and to just um allow the listener to just be amazed by how talented they are this album is such a vibe it was just so good but it is definitely i am enjoying album now in terms of favorites i have three of them in this album starting with my number three the very first song on the album jealousy Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
was my third favorite jealousy can you imagine this is how they open up the album so from the get-go they already make that statement that this is about to be a great time this chorus is so good whoa definitely here on top when it comes to chorus i heard this year just so so good i love it it's catchy it stays with you the energy that i am a journey ah uh, like as much as i don't want to just overly praise them i can't help it because they deserve the praise they are so amazing it's their ability to feed up each other so that when they go back to back the two of them always take my breath away it's like they have a natural hypeness about them and it doesn't matter what they are doing on the song if you are not in the mood you are going to be in the mood after they come on like they are just so talented and so good and they know how to feed off what the vocal line is giving and just create just another energy and another vibe and i really love it now when it comes to the song it's something that you see a lot where they come in with so much energy so much vibe when they go back to back it's amazing their verses are great but on the uh, on the flip side you have the vocal line and this amazing talent that they have to match. So what I am and Johanny give off in energy and vibe, the vocal line give off in power. And both of them just 
meet in the middle and you have an unforgettable monster x song and i love it i love it so much it's so good i love the chemistry between them and just the music that they put out is so good it's definitely something that is going to move you now number two is destroyer my second favorite now this song is so unpredictable because the way it starts right you think it's going to be something very slow very emotional there's a there was a a little bit of that but it was more implied but it started off in a certain type of way and once that first chorus came around (laughs) i was so shocked I was surprised. I'm like, how did we end up here? But somehow it makes sense at the same time, which is 
so nice and really describe my overall experience when it comes to Monster X. You, you really never know with them. And I really love that. Another thing that I really love about the song is, of course, my biases. They really did so well. Once again, delivering. They always deliver. Always. But the vocal line, like, I don't know what is happening lately. It's the more I fall in love with my biases, the more I'm becoming aware of how great the vocal line is, which is really weird. But I lo I'm loving this overall experience because this is something that I love where everybody is just so good that regardless of biases, you can um, appreciate and realize that everybody has something to offer. And for me, Monster X is one of those groups where there's just so much talent that they are able to do literally anything that they want because they have the talent to see it through. And you can be biased towards a certain member or a group of individuals but at the same time, the rest of the group will still wreck you, will still blow your mind away. You will still just be in awe of how amazing they are. And that's because they are all so talented. And the song is another example of that. So even though I said that this is my biases album for sure, because they shine so much. But don't underestimate the vocal line effect on me. They are so good that right now I feel like I'm in a journey to discover more Monster X music. But at the same time, I feel like I am meeting that vocal line for the very first time each album because they always find new ways to be amazing. Now, my favorite song in this album is Lost in the Dream.
고통은 독하디 독해 사방이 여지로 워 빠져 나 오지를 못해 빠져나오지 못하는 당신의 안개 같은 품 그대 안에 잠겨주고 더 좋은 힘에 워주 당신의 숨 You got me and I got you Things that we got never flew Please don't wake me up in this dream Wait baby I got a feeling you oh. 음 The rest of the member also did so well. So once again, I'm super excited about what's coming up next and what the direction is going to be for the upcoming album. Let me know in the comments how you felt about this album, which, which song ended up being your favorite. And if you want more Mr. X, check out their dedicated playlist on the channel. That's it for me today. I'll talk to you really, really soon. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and Subscribe.